Hello and welcome to another Buff Bunny Collection try on sizing and review video with me, Barbie T, today. And I'm so excited to show you the Dream House Collection. This collection is just so freaking pretty. We've got all of these bright hues ready for summer. We've got the bright pink, we've got the aqua, we've got the tiki yellow, the blues, and just like, literally, I think this is gonna be one of my favorite collections from this year. And I don't throw that around a lot, you know? I know that sometimes y'all like to make fun of influencers for saying, this is my favorite, this is my favorite. I don't throw that around often, okay? So when I tell you that this is going to be one of my favorite collections for this year, I mean it. There's one more coming down the line that might top it. I don't know yet, because I don't know all the details. I only know some details. But for sure, this one is going to be like top two. This collection launches on Saturday, May 13th at 1 p.m. Central. If you would like to support me while also getting a small discount on your purchase, please use my code Teresa as it, like I said, supports me and my little family directly and it means the world to me anytime you use it. I am doing the support code giveaway, so if you choose to support me, make sure that you take a screenshot of your order confirmation with my name in, under the discount, um, and then upload it to the form so you can be entered to win a $100 Buff Bunny Collection gift card. And trust me, it will come in handy. It will come in handy. For reference, I wear a 36 double D bra. Right now I'm a little bit heavier, so my jeans tend to be, I went from a 12-14, now I'm more like a 14, sometimes 16, depending on the jeans. Um, but I still wear large leggings when it comes to Nubri fabric, um, but I do size up in Elysium leggings, any performance legging, and I've always, even before, have sized up in shorts just because I am a little bit bottom heavier. I have curves, I have wide hips, I have bigger thighs. So for me, comfortably, I prefer to size up in all my shorts. So once again, to recap, that means I wear large Newbury leggings, extra large all other leggings, extra large shorts, and then my bras and my tops are still a large. Over on my Instagram, I have a giveaway going on right now. The winner will be chosen on Friday, May 12th for two people to win a $50 Buff Bunny gift card just in time for Saturday's launch. So if you don't already follow me on Instagram, make sure that you go, you hit the follow button, you do the giveaway, and uh, best of luck. I also have a highlight. I do this for every launch. I have a designated highlight for all things Dreamhouse. Ever since they announced the launch, I was ready for you guys. I have color comparisons in there. I have a Q&A in there. Actually, I've done two Q&As, um, and I'll probably do a third one later on this week. But I try to post as much information as possible. I like to share my thoughts. Um, and honestly, I think that that highlight is almost full. I might have to start a second highlight. So just know that I like to be very thorough and very detailed. So if you have not checked out the highlight, Highly, highly recommend that you do. All right, I'm not gonna keep you waiting, so let's get into it. Okay, let's start with the reversible bra. So we've seen this bra before. Remember, it used to be called the High Roller Reversible back when it was first released with that 70s collection. Then they brought it back with courtside. They dropped the high, uh, the high roller part and just called it a reversible bra and they made some adjustments to it. So this fit is the same fit as the one from courtside. So if you got the one from courtside, it should fit you the same. Mine do, I got large then, I got large now and they fit the same. So what it is, it's a Nubri bra and I would probably say this feels more like a bralette because it is very thin, so it's Nubri fabric. It's thin, it's stretchy, double brushed, but it has no padding. So like you can see how like, 
not much support is here, but it looks so pretty and it is very, very soft. We've got like these two cute little like spaghetti straps that kind of come together into a racer back in the back and you'll see here on the screen beside me. And then um, just like the name says, it is reversible. So the one I'm wearing right now is the fashion print. And then on the inside, it is Miami Vice. And then here's another one where we've got the black and white stripes, but then on the opposite side, it's just plain onyx. And this bra, like I said, is light support because it doesn't have padding. I think it's perfect for girls who have lower ch um, lower cup size or smaller chests. Um, for us girls who are who have more here, um, you can still wear it. Like I still wear mine to go work out. I just know that I shouldn't expect a lot of support from it. So if I'm just doing lifting, it's no big deal. Like it doesn't, nothing's gonna pop out or anything. Now, if I were going to do something more high intensity, then this was this would not be the bra that I choose to wear for that occasion. So I think as long as you know what the bra is and what it does, then you won't have any surprises. Now, because it doesn't have padding in it, I know that turns a lot of women away from it because some of us do like to have that padding. Me, personally, I don't care for the padding. I take it out, but if you are not that kind of person and you need or want the padding, then you have some options. Something that I know other women do is they just take a pad from another bra. So I just grabbed this one out of a Revolution bra that I had here. And what they do is they just stick it into the bra kind of like wherever the pad would go against like the bra and their skin and apparently it stays i have personally not done it myself because i don't like the pads um but i know of some women who have mentioned that that's what they do they put it here it keeps your nippies nice and covered and then while it might not offer additional support it does kind of feel a little bit more comfortable to know that you have that coverage there. Um, another thing that you can use are the sticky nipple covers or the sticky bras, both of which I have shared on my Instagram before. I'm a huge fan of those, especially like when I wear low cut tops or dresses that are like more open back or have that plunge where you don't want your bra to show. So I use those for more lifestyle, but I've also used it before with a bathing suit. And because the ones that I share specifically, and I'll put the link below also in the description box, those are sweat and waterproof. So they stick really well. So even if you're sweating, like they'll stay with you. Um, and then all you have to do is just wash it with some soap in the sink and let it air dry and then it's good to go to reuse again. As I mentioned, they did make some changes from the original release from that 70s collection. So if you've not tried it since then or you just never tried it, period, I'm gonna go over those changes. So starting off, and I'll put uh, pictures on the side here on the screen, you can see that it has been brought in. So it's been brought in like up here and then a little bit more down here, which I'm okay with them lowering it here, but I wish that this was still a little bit higher up for more coverage because when you bring this down, then you have more, like more chance of like having, you know, that underarm spillage that some of us have. So I wish that it had still stayed up a little bit higher on the side and that they had only lowered it in the front. The other change they've made is to the bra straps themselves. So before the stitching used to be just one line of stitching all the way down, which then ha what happened to a lot of us, myself included, is that whenever you would take the bra, well at least for me it happened when I took the bra off, when I would take the bra off um, and then I would stretch the, the strap itself, the stitching would pop and it would like come undone. Um, it didn't like undo the whole bra, but it was enough to where like it was kind of noticeable. So what they did, now is that they reinforce that stitch there's a technical name for it i can't remember what the name of it is but what they've done is that was now like a double stitch so it's been reinforced and it's so much stronger and ever since they made that change none of my reversible bras have had the stitching pop
Now, this is the only bra that is going to come in fashion print. And this print is so freaking pretty. It's so 90s Barbie. I love it. It reminds me so much of my childhood. Wearing like the matching like windbreaker sets going to like first grade. And I don't know, I really, really loved it. When I first saw the print on the on the PDF when we, you know, were sent sent us the information. To me, it didn't look like this. To me, it looked way different. And then when I saw it, like when I saw the other girls open their packages and get it, I was like, I need that print. I need that print. So what did your girl do? Your girl drove to Alpha Land. We made the two hour trip to Alpha Land just to buy this bra so that I could review it for you so we could get a closer look at the print so I could mix and match it with other pieces and I am so glad that I did. So if you're liking this print, unfortunately, like I said, this is the only bra that it will come in, but in my opinion, totally worth it. This is the Synergy Seamless Bra, and it is one of my favorite bras from this collection. It is a seamless fabric, so it is ultra stretchy. It's very soft, it's not itchy. I know the first few times that Buff Bunny Collection introduced seamless items, they kind of had like a little like roughness to it that some people described as itchy, but honestly, I don't feel that with the latest seamless products, and I'm very happy about that. So like I said, it's very stretchy it does have a lot of give I got mine in a size large which is my normal bra top size I do not feel the need to size up or size down if you're in between sizes technically I guess you can size down because it is very stretchy now it has this beautiful little design kind of like ribbing going down the center and kind of like contours around the boobies so it makes the boobies look nice and great it's got this soft square neckline similar to like revolution but not as like boxy i think it's like more soft more feminine and then the straps of course are just going they go straight back straight up and around and then in the back we have the beautiful twist design so this twist in the back they have made a change since its original release with Sugar Rush. Back then, the gap from the twist used to be bigger. Now it's a little bit smaller. So um, there has been a change to that, but I don't think it's like a significant change. But that little change that they made, I do feel has made a big difference. I feel like the bra stays put much nicer. I feel like it offers more support now because it's snugger. My straps stay nice and put. So personally, I'm a big fan of that small change. Now, the knot itself, I've gotten asked if it's annoying. When I'm just standing around lifting, it's not annoying. The first few times when I wore the original seamless bra, and then like I would go like sit on a bench or like lay down on the ground I could feel it but I honestly didn't notice it with this one I don't know if it's because I've already gotten used to it from the last version or it's because this one is not as like big and protruding so like it's not as noticeable and it's not annoying honestly I forget that the knot is there I don't feel it um, I think the first time that you wear it especially if you've never tried this bra before you might feel it but eventually over time you kind of like learn to like ignore it um, like I said, it's not a deal breaker for me. It's not uncomfortable for me. I don't mind wearing it on the days when I know I'm going to be laying on a bench or something. Like, it doesn't bother me. Um, but I really like this bra. And as far as, like, support, it is light to medium, but it's more supportive than the reversible bra. So... If you do not want the reversible bra, you can totally do this one for a little bit more support, yet still like that nice, feminine, delicate look, especially with the little twist in the back. And good news, this one does have padding, so you don't have to worry about anything showing that you don't want showing. And I just absolutely love this bra. It's coming in all of these gorgeous colors to match the uh, BBL shorts. And like even if you decide to pair this with like a Nubri fabric because this is seamless. So like let's say you want this bra but you want the legacy shorts, right? The colors are so close together. There's like just like a degree of difference. The colors are so close together that you can totally get away with matching a seamless fabric with a Nubri fabric. 
Okay, so here I have both bras laid down. This is the back of the bra, and you can see right away that the top one is smaller. That's the new Synergy one from this collection, um, and then the bottom one is the one from Sugar Rush. You can see how much wider the other one is. We did say that the old one was like light support and super stretchy, and I mean, I guess it's light support because of how wide it was. Um, and then you see the one, the new one, and how they drastically brought in the like the the width of the bra the gaps themselves too you can kind of see right there how like they're closer together and overall this bra just fits so much better and then here's the front of the bra again you can see how the top one the new one comes in significantly more um the also the other thing i noticed is the sides the sides of the bra the new one they come up higher so that gives you more like side and underarm coverage compared to the other one i honestly didn't notice that the other one was so much lower until i put the new one on that's when i was like oh okay um once on like you, you'll be able to like noticeably feel the difference too and then here they are one on top of the other now i will tell you do not let the size difference here deter you from getting your normal size i would not recommend that you size up unless like you really feel like you need to size up like I said, both of these are large and they both fit me. Obviously the new one is going to fit me a little bit tighter. I don't wanna say tighter, I'm gonna say better. It fits me better. The other one was too big, too loose. This one fits me better. I think it's definitely true to size and it's got so much stretch. So you should be fine with your normal size. Another one of my favorites is the Revolution bra. We know her, we love her. She is nice and soft. She is new fabric. She is stretchy. We've got, again, that square and neckline that to me is just so freaking feminine and it just makes the chest area look so good. Um, it is thick strap. It comes up pretty decently on the sides compared to like Rosa. Rosa sits so much lower. I love new weight because it comes up higher um, and I feel like I don't get as much spillage with this one as I do with the Rosa bra. It is a long line which I love. Now I have a shorter torso so my long line bras tend to like almost connect with my leggings but if you're a longer torso lady then you know you'll probably have some separation but me I just, I'm shorty. Um, and then of course it's got the removable padding which makes it perfect. The back of the bra is nice. It's got this beautiful like crisscross design, which again is very feminine and just makes the back look so freaking pretty. I love wearing this bra on back day because when you're like, you know, like doing lap pulls or anything like that, it just, it looks so good. And it just, to me, I feel like it accentuates that hourglass shape. It could totally just be me, but I think it's just so freaking cute. The only disappointing thing about this bra is that it's only coming in two colors. And I know that there are a lot of other Revolution fans like myself, and the fact that it's only coming in Miami Vice bossy and white is a little like, it's a bummer. Um, but at least we will have it in this Miami Vice bossy. This print, the Miami Vice bossy, is only coming in the Revolution bra. So if you're a fan of this print, it's only going to be available in Revo, so I recommend that you snag the Revo. I have a very strong feeling that this is going to sell out fast. So make sure that you are ready to go at 12.58 and um, you go in there, add it to cart and check out as soon as possible because I think it will go fast. Now, I find this bra to be very true to size. I wear a size large, no need. For me personally, I don't feel a need to size up or size down. If you're in between sizes, I know a lot of girls tend to size down with uh, Newbury bras, which this is a Newbury bra. And when I say Newbury, I mean like Newbury fabric um, because it does have so much stretch. So I know that a lot of girls, if they're in between sizes, they prefer to size down. Now I do have plenty of Revolution bras in both large and extra large, and I can tell you that I wear both sizes, but if I want support, then the largest 
fit better because they just kind of hold everything nice and tight. Now the extra large do kind of feel a little bit more comfortable because they're you know a little bit more loose. Um, so it really just depends on what vibe you're going for. Um, but like I said, large tends to be what works best for me. Next I have the most asked about bra from this collection, the Rosa Scalloped Bra, which is an oldie but with a t new twist. So we've all seen the Rosa Bra, a lot of us have tried the Rosa Bra. It's one of the OG buff bunny bras and this time they brought it with the scallops, this cute little scallop design along the bottom band, which is just so freaking cute, so Barbie, so feminine, so girly, and I love it. So right off the bat, the number one question is, do the scallops stay in place? And I'm gonna be honest, mine don't. Mine don't, um, but I don't mind that they don't, if that makes sense, because even though this, like my, the bra for me, like here, for me, twist around so this is what happens it just kind of like raises up and then it just kind of like scrunches so the scallops do kind of lose their shape but the bra itself stays like like this part which is the part that we need to stay in place the most stays put i have had no issues with that as we know, the Rosa is a Newbury fabric, which is super stretchy. And like I mentioned before with the Revolution, that when we have a Newbury fabric bra and most girls are in between sizes, they prefer to size down. This one, I actually chose to size up. I don't know why. I just had like a gut feeling that I should probably size up rather than size down because again, I'm in between sizes right now. And I am so glad that I did size up in this one. I feel like if I had gotten my large, it would, it would have been too like tight and short around here. Now, one thing that I've always mentioned is that you can tell if you have the right size bra based on this underseam right here, right? This underseam should fit like under your boobs, like right here. And so this one is like barely there. And like I, I know that if I had gotten my large, it probably would have fit more like I don't know, like that, which is not the look that I want. I want it to stay right here, nice and put. So I'm so glad that I sized up in this one. This only applies if you're between sizes. If you're not between sizes, you could probably go with your normal size. The other thing that I do want to point out is because this is scalloped, it's shorter. Like it's still a long line bra, but compared to like a normal Rosa bra, this definitely is shorter. When you saw the Revolution, the last bra that I reviewed, you can see how my Revolution literally touched my, my leggings, like my pants. Um, this one, it doesn't. Like, it's gonna show skin. So if you are a fan of long line bras, just keep in mind that although this one is long line, it is shorter compared to all of the other long line bras. Everything else fits the same though, like the bust area fits the same, the straps fit the same, the support is the same, the softness is the same, and I love this bra. Again, my only complaint is that it's not coming in more colors. It's only coming in Miami Vice and black. And you know, when they did the campaign video, we got to see a rendering of this bra in Party Purple. And I, I don't know why Party Purple in this bra didn't make it to the collection, but I think it would have been so gorgeous in Party Purple. Don't ask me if it's coming down the line because I have no idea. I don't know. All I know is right now we get it in Miami Vice and we get it in Onyx. So if you like it, grab it. This is the fashion bra. It is made out of this like vinyl material, but it is very, very stretchy. Now, I sized up because anything that's not newbie or like a performance fabric or like fake leather, vinyl, anything like that, I just find it more comfortable if I size up. So I did that with this one. And I'm glad I did because the first time I took it out of the bag, this band right here was really tight. Um, in fact, when I put it on over my head, I was a little bit scared that it wasn't going to fit me. But I mean, as you can see, it does fit me. Um, so 
I personally, for myself, am glad I sized up because of like how wide I am right here. Um, not necessarily for the cup size. I think that if I had stayed with a large, the cup probably would have been a little bit more like supportive and lifting. Um, but since I got an extra large, you know, we work with what we got. Um, but I still do really like it. And now that I've worn it a couple times, the band is not tight at all. It's actually stretched out pretty well and it's really comfortable so I generally do like it now one thing that happens for me and I, I first I thought it was like maybe the straps were kind of like I needed to play with the straps a little bit because maybe I made one side longer than the other um, but what happens is this side rolls up on me and it might just be like my own like body composition I always because it's not just this bra like it actually happens with a lot of stuff like bras bralettes crop tops like see like it just kind of like comes up on this side this side stays nice and down but this side comes up and I think it's maybe I just I don't know if I have a bigger boob on this side which you know is totally common to have one boob bigger than the other I don't know if it's because this boob is bigger I don't know if I just have more like weight that I carry on this side maybe I'm uneven I don't freaking know but this happens to me and it just it kind of annoys me so I mean other than that I, I do like the bra itself so cute like I said it's stretchy it's flattering it actually has really good coverage which I was surprised because whenever I saw this picture on the PDF and you know here's the thing too like when we get the PDFs the models who post for the PDFs are extra small and small and so I see the picture and it looks great on them and sometimes I have to kind of like visualize what that would look like on a larger body and sometimes like I just know like when I see the silhouette of things I'm like oh yeah that'll work for my body like even though I'm not an extra small or small like it'll I know it's gonna work for my body shape and so like you know like yes I love it I want it um, sometimes I see things and I'm just like, mm -hmm, I don't know if that's going to work for me. And this bra was one of those. When I saw it, because it was on a smaller body, I did not think that it would actually support my bigger chest. Um, but I'm glad that I asked if I could try it because it actually does. It does work for bigger chests. In fact, I think it works better for bigger chests. Um, I know that Kara was really excited about this bra. You know, we were talking back and forth about it and she actually ended up not liking it as much as she thought she would. Um, and then Gabs and I, you know, we were talking about it and we were all like, we were, her and I were both like, oh my God, it looks so good. Like with our bigger chest, Big Titty Committee approved. So I think that if you saw the picture of the PDF and you were kind of a little like, ooh, that's not going to work for my bigger committee up here. Um, rest assured that it will. It actually looks so good. And I'm so glad I got it. I think it's perfect for a lifestyle piece. Like I put it on my Instagram stories. I put it on with some jeans. And like I had a little clutch. And I was like, oh my god, it looks so good for like a girl's night, a date night. Um, even the pink one. I, I got mine in black. But even the pink one I think would be so perfect for like dressing up. Now I have the Spice Crop jacket, which is another fan favorite. I know some of you were disappointed that it is the cropped version and not the full length version because I think the last time that it came out, which was with Undead, it was also cropped. We haven't had the full length one in quite a while, so I totally understand. But I love this jacket. First of all, it's this mesh fabric so it's nice and like cooling it's not like suffocating i've been wearing my cloud crop a lot um but now that it's starting to get a little bit warmer like it's a little too hot and this one is perfect because since it's mesh i don't feel as like suffocated now that the texas heat is starting to make its way back so i do love this one perfect for spring summer um like i said it is mesh so it is very stretchy and it is cropped so on me it comes literally kind of like where my leggings um kind of stop so it, the the bottom hem of my crop jacket touches my legs now if I raise my hands yes it will go up and then you'll see a little bit of skin but to me that's no 
like problem because it's a crop jacket anyway so you know um now because it is mesh you will see your sports bra or your top or whatever you're wearing underneath which is kind of like a very sporty vibe i do like that it does have thumb holes which again i love me a good thumb hole on my jacket i don't, I don't know it's just like a, a comfort thing to me i think um and then every once in a while if i do start to get hot and i need to like bring my sleeves up it's not like annoying it doesn't get in the way it doesn't look funky to me um and so it's very this is one of those jackets it's very easy to like raise up because i know there's some jackets where like if you get hot and you want to you know bring the sleeves up this part this little cuff part is so tight that it makes it hard this one it's so stretchy i can easily easy peasy just bring it on up and it looks so cute like look at it it's so cute um it is a zip up which again love a good zip up um it makes it easy to put on and off it comes with a hood that i have never used and i mean it's mesh so i think it's just more for looks than actual function never used it but it's still cute it's a cute vibe nonetheless so this one that i am wearing is an extra large I do have a large one from Undead as well, and I'll show y'all here on the screen somewhere um, that I can wear both. I can wear both the large and I can wear the extra large. What I like about the large is that it is very fitting, like it comes in, so obviously it's going to be more cropped. Um, it's not tight at all like i don't feel like it's tight it's still very like breathable and movable um now with the extra large i do get a little bit more length just a teeny bit more length i don't think that you can achieve a full size look by sizing up i think if you no matter if you keep sizing up it's still going to be a crop to length um but i do achieve just a little bit of length by sizing up to an extra large and the other thing i noticed is that i have um a little bit more fabric like in my upper back and like my arms now the large is not restrictive on my arms at all it's just you know it just kind of like it's contoured <laughs> to my body whereas this one it's still a little bit contoured but i do have a little bit extra wiggle room so i in general i like both large and extra large I don't pick which one I want to wear based on the size. I pick which one I want to wear based on the um, color. So one of the main reasons why I decided to size up in this one this time around is because I already had a large and I wanted to see what the big difference was or if there was even a difference between large and extra large. And I'm so glad I did that because now I can see that while there is a difference, it's not a significant difference. And now I can tell you that. So if you're in between sizes or you're not sure which size to get i say make your choice based on how you want it to look and how you want it to fit you if you want that like contoured super cropped look then definitely size down if you want a little bit more room and comfort then size up but don't want to size up too much because then it's kind of going to look baggy and not like flattering um so if you size up i say maybe just like one size up last but not least i have the rainforest crop now full disclosure I did not get these in my PR box with Dream House. These two um, Rainforest crops that I have are actually the original ones from when they originally released. I have been told that there have been no changes. It's still Nimbus fabric. It's still light and cooling and stretchy. It's still a crop length and I love it. I love that it's not tight here. Like, oh, I love that. Um, and then of course we have the open back, like the open little twist in the back. I do have it in black and I have it in ivory. The ivory one is see-through, so just know that whatever bra you choose to wear underneath, especially if it's a bright bra, you will be able to see it. And then of course, because it has the open twist, then you will be able to see your bra in the back as well. It looks super cute with a strappy bra. It just looks very feminine. Um, and I just love the look of it. This is also a great item for like a cover up when you're going to and from the gym, but also as a lifestyle piece. You can pair it with some jeans, you can pair it with some shorts and some sneakers, some sandals, and it looks equally as good. You can wear a cute little bralette underneath it or even a sports bra underneath it for comfort and pair it with some jeans and it's gonna look super cute. Another fun twist about this top, pun intended, is that you can actually reverse it to wear the back and the front, and so you get this 
cute like little keyhole look so if you have a cute bra underneath you want to show it off but maybe you don't want to go like completely shirtless at the gym you even you want to still have some coverage then you can wear it reverse so you can still show off your cute bra but feel a little bit more covered up both of mine are in a size large and i think it's perfect like you can see it's cropped length but it's nice and loose it's not tight anywhere it's not tight in the underarms it's not tight in the bust not tight in the arms i think this is a very true to size top if you want it to look more oversized then you can certainly size up but if you're in between sizes i say you're okay with sizing down because this nimbus fabric is very stretchy very forgiving very light very like I don't know how to describe it. Very cooling. <laughs> so yeah, I got a size large and I'm happy with my choice. Okay, here I have the Life Saver short. I got mine in extra large. Um, my large ones that I got before with Sugar Rush do not fit me. Like I literally have to like wiggle and like tuck things in to get into them and then they're super tight obviously hi Milo I've gained weight since then so the large just just do not fit me they don't look flattering they're super tight so I went with extra large this time they said that they had made it more true to size and made some adjustments so here is my extra large so I can tell you yes I've seen an improvement but they're still big so like They'll stay up. I don't feel like they're going to like fall off of me. They do fit a little bit better. I don't think this part is what is achieving that. I think it's this short that is achieving it. I feel like the short here is now a little bit tighter. Now, I still have plenty of stretch, so it's not like digging into me, but it is tighter. And I think that's why now the short stays better. Whereas before it was, it just felt baggy all around. So now it feels more like flowy, but I feel like it's going to stay better if that makes sense. Okay. So there's definitely been a change to this part of the shorts. This part, I feel like it's pretty similar. Um, Maybe just less fabric bunching here, but I still get it. And you'll see here on the screen when I do it side by side that I still get the fabric bunching. It's still a lot of excess fabric in the crotch and then still a lot of excess fabric back here, which I know some of y'all said it kind of looks like a diaper. And I totally get it, especially for us girlies probably have more junk in the trunk. It just... I don't know, it just looks like you slapped a tent over your butt, you know? But I will say it does feel better. Um, one, another thing they said they did is that they shortened the drawstrings, but mine are still super long. Like, super, super long. Do you see? Like, they go over my head. They're still super long. So I don't know, maybe they made that change to, like, the smaller sizes, but my extra large ones still have super long drawstrings i like wearing them like this they're fine but honestly i feel like they just feel better if i wear them like rolled and i'll, I'll just throw in a t-shirt and i do wear them around the house um i don't think that i would wear them to the gym me personally because this does right up like i'm gonna put it down i'm gonna do a couple squats for you actually all i had to do is just one squat see and then they ride up so for that reason, I don't see myself wearing them to the gym. Maybe more for like running errands, being around the house. I, I probably would even do like a hot girl walk in these. I think when I'm walking, they stay pretty in place. It's when I do like bending over and squatting that they ride up. But for sure, at least for me, the extra large fit better. These shorts are so tricky because I feel like there's such a big difference when you make the jump from large to extra large. And like I said, the large is just way too tight. The extra large are too big. I wish it was like a size in between, but I mean, it is what it is. I do, I guess I do like them better than before. Um, and I do catch myself wearing them more often. So lifesaver shorts for me. Next up, I have the Legacy 4-inch shorts. 
I got mine in uh, Malibu pink, not Miami Vice, Malibu, which is slightly like brighter, more neon than Miami Vice, which is like Miami Vice is very bright, but I feel like this one is like way more brighter, not as pale as um, Peace Pink. I feel like Peace Pink is also bright, but it's more like on the lighter end of the scale, whereas this one's a little bit more vibrant. Still super cute. So these, like I said, are the four inch ones. I do size up in all my shorts, guys. It is just a personal preference because I know my body composition. I know that I can wear a large and they fit fine here, but then they won't fit here. And so I purposely size up to extra large so that they fit here and here, even if it means that I probably lose a little bit of compression here in that tummy area. So that is just my personal preference, how I dress for my body and my body composition. But you do whatever you want. I know a lot of girls tend to stay with just their normal size because they are new reason Some people like to size down for a tighter look. Completely up to you. Me personally, I size up because we need room right here. So four inch, as I said, this colorway in particular is not very squat proof. In fact, you can definitely see the shadow of my underwear. I'm wearing like a darker underwear today just for all the squat proof testing that we're doing. So you can definitely see it. You can also see my panty line. Um, unfortunately, I'm not wearing high-waisted underwear. When I wear high-waisted underwear, it kind of like blends into the seam here and you can't really see it. But today I'm kind of wearing more like a low-rise underwear so you can definitely see the seam right here. I don't know if this, the see-throughness applies to the other colors. I can only speak for this color alone, but just, you know, I wanna make sure that you know that it's not very squat proof. You can totally see my underwear. You can even see like the indention of my belly button. Um, and yeah, as far as like cellulite proofness, I mean, I think you can see it. Um, I honestly don't think that any of the colors from this collection are going to be cellulite friendly. Either that or just, I mean, I don't know. I don't really don't think so. Um, maybe the black. We'll we'll see when we get to that. Bleh, when we get to those, but definitely not this color. Is it going to deter me from wearing them? Absolutely not. Y'all know that I don't care about cellulite and stretch marks. I will flaunt them all day long, every day. Um, but I understand that some of us are not there yet with our bodies. So if you want to hide those things, maybe not this colorway. Maybe go with a darker color. Okay, now I have the Legacy 6 inch shorts, which you can see right away that are much longer. And honestly, I feel like they're also higher waisted. My 4 inch are also extra large. These are also extra large, but these just, I don't, they come up a little bit higher. Um, and then obviously they're longer. Milo, you're in the way, bruh. Scooch. So, um, I mean, you can see the fit here. Now, this colorway, the Passion Purple, is definitely more squat proof than the Malibu Pink. I'm still wearing that underwear, um, and I think like it does a better job at hiding the shadow of it. Um, and even kind of like the panty line, you can kind of see it, but I think it's not as noticeable as with the Malibu Pink colorway. So definitely this is way more um, squat proof. Now, um, like I said, I do size up in all my shorts because I want to make sure that they fit me here. And like the waistband is just, it's perfect. Here you guys, what I really wanna make sure is that this fits, that it's not digging in. And I love that these don't um, ride up on me. The four inch do ride up on me, the six inch, do not. I love that they stay put. They just feel so much more comfortable and they just so much better. I can squat, I can jump, I can lay down, get up, and I know that my six inch are going to stay in place. So I really do love them. Of course, we love the Legacy tri -seam. Well, I like the Legacy tri -seam. I know not everyone is a fan, but me personally, I do. Um, cellulite friendliness, again, I really don't feel like these bright colors do that great of a job at hiding cellulite, but it's definitely less noticeable compared to like the Malibu pink. These are the BBL seamless shorts. They are a four inch inseam. They are seamless fabric and they are super stretchy. There have been no change to this short from its previous release with Cake. 
Um, so I'm not really going to go too deep into this because I already already have. Um, so you can go back and watch that one. But just really quick, they're super high waisted. They have the Buff Bunny like logo on the inside seam of the shorts. I did size up to extra large like I do with all of them, but this seamless fabric, it will just not stay put. Like, do you see one movement and they come right up? So not my favorite short um, for the gym. I do enjoy wearing them around the house though because like they're comfy, they're stretchy. And honestly, because this band is kind of like tight, not tight, but compressive, I kind of like how it makes me feel like held together um but i don't know that i would wear them to the gym because they do roll up now this seamless fabric is very thin so you can see everything you can see my panty lines and i'm not a girl who normally gets camel toe but i get camel toe in these and like all of my anything like um alicia newbury like any of my other leggings i don't really get it but this one it must be this fabric because I do get it and sometimes it's more noticeable than other times So just want to throw that out there and it doesn't matter whether I wear underwear or not It's just it's gonna pop out. So I want to make sure that you knew that um, Not super squat proof not super cellulite friendly um, I think this is a great short for girls who like itty bitty shorts um, For girls who like because I know some girls like for their shorts to be like this right like cradling their booty cheeks and i mean i'm all for it too do what makes you comfortable but personally for me that's not comfortable um but if you like that look or that's the look that you want to achieve then these shorts are going to be great for that because they'll do it without you having to ask them to do it but um other than that oh, yeah they're they're something okay here i have the legacy leggings in the color H2O. I love this color. I already have it in uh, Siren or Monarch. I can't remember right now which one. I have one of them, the cross waistband. But I have been dying to get them in Legacy with just like the flat straight waistband. This color is so pretty. I know I'm biased because blue is my favorite color. Uh, but this blue is just so vibrant, so pretty. It's like so perfect for summer and it's a really good color to like mix and match with some of these other bright colors so i think it's just perfect okay let's talk about legacy leggings legacies and roses in general because i feel like over the past several launches the new brain fabric has kind of changed a little bit and at first I didn't really notice it, but as I started getting more newer stuff, and then I was wearing my old stuff, I could I, I was definitely able to tell. Um, it feels like the new breed now is not as stretchy as it used to be. I know that sometimes like the dyes, the colors affect the stretch um, and the sizing. So. I don't know. I know that Buff Bunny is aware of it. I know that, you know, they're going to do whatever they're going to do. But this colorway specifically feels like old Newbery. I don't, I can't speak for the other colors, okay? I just, I know I can't. In fact, like when I compare this one to the Rosa Scallop leggings, which are also Newbery, completely different fit. But these Legacy in H2O in size large fit exactly like how I remember all of my older Legacies and Roses fitting. I, the, the double brush softness, the plenty of stretch, do you see? Um, yeah, and I'm wearing large. Again, I know some people like to say that I'm lying about my size. I, I've shown y'all multiple times and I'm very honest about what sizes I wear. I don't know why I would lie to y'all, but these are large and they fit perfect. They're not tight. Um, now, Legacy Leggings are high-waisted. They do have the tri-seam on the back. And like I said, I can only speak for the H2O, but the H2O fit perfect, okay? Now, um, these brighter colors, as I mentioned before, not super cellulite friendly. Again, I personally don't care, but I think that this blue kind of hides it a little bit more than, say, the pinks. Um, I feel like 
purple. I feel like party purple and H2O blue kind of hide it a little bit more than say Aqua Dream, Miami Vice, or Malibu Pink. So if you want the one that's gonna hide it a little bit more, I would say definitely go with like a blue or the purple. Um, so yeah, um, as far as squat proofness, I think this color is pretty squat proof. Obviously while well, I'm squatting and I'm stretching the fabric to the max, like might be a little bit different, but just like day to day, standing, walking, twisting, I can't twist, you know, my knee. Um, but I feel like it, it hides, um, it, it hides everything. You can't see, like I showed you, I have my underwear on, and you can't see the shadow of my underwear the way that you would with some of the other colors. So personally, I'm in love with this blue color. So glad that I got it. Okay, next let's talk about the Rosa Scallop leggings. So I got mine in large because I am generally a large when it comes to new re leggings. Rosa's, Legacies, Rosa Pockets, Monarch, all of those are new re fabric, even all the butter fabric stuff, I'm a large. So when I saw these, I was like, okay, I'll probably be a large as well. Um, do they fit me? Yes. Are they tight? Yes. In fact, the very first time I took them out of the bag, um, and I talked about this in my first look video too, this waistband was very tight and rigid, like super tight. Now, because I have worn them multiple times and I've washed them, it is now way stretchier as you can see, but I still think that they are smaller and tighter in comparison to my large legacy leggings. Now, if I put them one on top of the other, legacies in the back, Rosa Scallops in the front, they look to be the same. It's the same size on that waistband. But these, I feel, have so much more stretch compared to these. And I'm pulling hard here, guys. So I think they just, they run a little bit smaller, but also because whatever they did to achieve this waistband made them tighter. And I know that that had to be done to kind of, the, so that the scallops could keep their shape. Because if it had just been like, a flimsy one like this, there's no way those those scallop that scallop design would have stayed. So I totally understand. So that first time that I put them on, it was definitely a struggle. It was definitely a workout. I was definitely out of breath, and at one point I literally had to sit down and just like catch my breath and then like pull up the leggings. So like they're fine, like the leg the leg part of the leggings it's fine. It's just this waistband. Now like I said because I have worn them multiple times and I have washed them, they have stretched out. So they're definitely way 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 more comfortable. Um if you're between sizes, I think that you should size up. I think I would have preferred to size up in these myself. The large fit, um, they, they fit, <laughs> they totally fit. Um, but I think an extra large would have been more comfortable. They would have sat a little bit more higher waisted maybe. It probably would have helped with the scallop like retaining its shape in my opinion because they definitely roll. The scallop design definitely like folds over. Like the legging doesn't slide off of me but the design does fold over and it just kind of becomes like a straight waistband. So I'm wondering if I had sized up and they weren't so like stretched that maybe they would have kept the scallop shape a little bit better. Now, I can't speak for the black ones. I can only speak I can only speak for the Miami Vice ones. But this color is very very see-through in my opinion. You can see the shadow of my underwear. You can see the like the shadow of my belly button. It's definitely not cellulite friendly. Um at least I don't think it is. And I mean, squat proofness medium at best um i think you know i'm wearing the, the underwear that i'm wearing right now it kind of like blends it a little bit more but if i had been wearing like black underwear i think it definitely would have been able to see it so in my opinion if you're between sizes size up if you're not between sizes definitely check out like obviously yes my review but then maybe go check out some of the other athlete reviews and just kind of see what they have to say 
figure out what the general consensus is and then also keep your body shape in mind like like I said before I have wide hips and big thighs so for me I think sizing up would have been like the best option here obviously if you're more like lean petite maybe you won't have that issue I, I don't know um, but yeah check out multiple reviews and just kind of come to a consensus on what you think is going to fit your body composition best but for me I say size up um, I say they run small I say they run tight and they're gorgeous but I don't know I think I prefer the scallop bra over the scallop leggings a thousand percent. I think that the scallop bra you can wear with just like regular leggings. I don't think you need the scallop legging to complete the look. Um, I mean, it's cute to have like the matching set, um, but if I could only have one, the scallop legging or the scallop bra, I would definitely pick the bra. Next up is the Moonstone legging. It is so freaking pretty and ugh, I know that my camera like my focus keeps getting messed up and I'm so sorry okay but so the moonstone legging okay it's not Elysium fabric I looked it up and it tells us what the fabric blend is and I thought it was Elysium so then in my head I was like well then what's Elysium made out of and it is the same blend so at first, I thought they kind of felt more like the Loch Ness leggings, but that is a completely different fabric blend, and they don't fit like the Loch Ness leggings at all. The Loch Ness leggings, to me, have like no compression, um, and they roll really bad. That's why you will hardly ever see me wearing them. They're cute, but I don't really wear them that often. Um, but these felt more like Elysium, so I'm glad to know that it's the same fabric blend. Now, they don't list them as Elysium leggings. My guess is because the, like, the percentages of the fabrics that they use are slightly different, so they can't really call it Elysium, but they fit very similar. They're compressive, they're supportive, they like fit really nice around the waist and tummy area, they hold me in. I really, really like them. Um, I didn't think I would <laughs> because of the little gems. I, like when I saw them, I was like, that's cute, but like when would I ever wear that, you know? Um, now that I have them and I've put them on and I've tried them on, I'm so glad I got them because I still stand by my statement that I won't wear them to the gym. I think, I, I just, I don't know. I don't think that I would feel comfortable wearing them to the gym. Um, plus, I'd be afraid that I'd be like getting stuck on stuff. Luckily, I haven't gotten stuck on anything, but like, I don't know, maybe it's like a mental thing. But I feel like these leggings are so cute for dressing up. They kind of remind me of like, and this is gonna like take me back, like Selena, like not Selena Gomez, like Selena Selena, Quinta, Selena Quintanilla. Um, you know, she used to always wear sparkles and like bustiers and stuff. And so even the Moonstone bra reminds me of like a Selena bustier. And I'm so sad I don't have the bra. I did get it because in my head I was like, oh, that's, a, that's an itty bitty bra, that's no way that's going to fit my chest. Um, but now that I've seen other girls with bigger chests wear it, I'm like, oh, should have gotten it. So I, I think the Moonstone bra is going to be on my personal shopping list. I would like to have the set because I think it's going to be really cute together to dress it up. So I'm thinking like the Moonstone leggings with the Moonstone bra and then like a blazer and heels right or like a jacket and some combat boots or like some little looks like some like cute little like slip in heels and a jacket i don't know like i i am picturing a thousand ways that i can dress these leggings up so that i can look cute and put together but still feel comfortable when i'm out so i like the leggings i like the gems i don't feel like they've fallen off i've washed the leggings i washed them inside out I hung dry them and nothing happened to them I literally sat here and I inspected it like all the way down I did it like three times and I did not see a single spot where the gems fell off now granted I've only worn them one day and I've only washed them one time I I can't speak for the longevity of them over time but at least for now, I can tell you that they held up really, really well. And yeah, I really like this waistband. And so if you if you think that you can buy these and wear them in like a way that, that would make you feel comfortable and pretty, 
totally get them because they're so cute they're so different um but if you think they're just gonna sit in your closet you know maybe maybe use that money towards one of the other pieces that you'll be more likely to wear next up are the rebel leggings these leggings are elysium fabric they've got this sheen to them they almost look like velvety but they don't feel velvety it's just i don't know how to describe it it looks like a like a seal i don't know <laughs> i don't know how to describe it but they are just like all the other rebels they are really nice and compressive and supportive i think i prefer my leopard rebel leggings the best out of all the rebel leggings that there have ever been but i do like these two i like the little v contour in the back which i know is not for everyone if i had to pick a legging this one would not be at the top of my list to buy not because i don't like it but just because it's pretty like meh to me you know at least like the um, the Moonstone leggings, like they have the gems, which is a little something extra. The Snatch legging has the cross waistband, which is a little something extra. The Rosas have the scallop, which is a little something extra. Legacies are just like a go-to comfortable legging. And then there's these. And I'm, I guess if you're like, like this look, this like, you know, fake leather, this pleather look this vinyl look then you will appreciate these leggings you'll definitely like them i do think that they make you know the legs and the booty look good but in comparison to all the other leggings that are launching these are definitely just mm, you know mm, they're at the bottom of my list <laughs> and here i have the snatched legging and boy do i have thoughts about the snatched legging okay Y'all know how I felt about the BBL leggings. And if you missed that review, then definitely go back to Cake and watch that review because I didn't really care for the BBL leggings. I didn't hate them, but I didn't love them. I felt like the waistband was too tight in comparison to the rest of the leggings. So it accentuated the lower tummy, um, especially if you carry extra weight in your tummy, or you have like a fupa. I just didn't think it was a flattering look. I felt like that compression should have extended to the whole tummy area, not just the waistband. Now, this legging is crossed. So I feel like this one kinda camouflages it a little bit better because it kind of like comes in if that makes sense whereas like the other one was more like this this one's more like this right so i feel like it does a little bit better of a job at kind of holding you in um i did size up to extra large again and when i put them on the first time i loved the extra large fit over time as i wore them and as i worked out i noticed that they stretched out so now they almost feel too big on me and i think maybe i should have stuck with the large um i i don't know i tried on the large bbl and they felt too tight so i thought that if i got a large in this one they would be too tight and they probably would have been the first time but i think if i had given them a chance and worn them and stretched that would have they would have stretched out just like these stretched out i don't know because i have extra fabric bunching like you'll see it in the video like I have extra fabric like in the front um and in my legs like it bunches up at the back of my knees so yeah I think I should have stuck with my normal size that's something to consider if you don't know which way to go this one's a little bit hard um the cross waistband of course does not stay a completely perfect V 24-7. Just like with the Monarch and the Siren, it does tend to kind of like fold over a little bit. The leggings don't fall off of me. They're not sliding off of me by any means, okay? But the V does lose its shape and it kind of becomes more of an overlapped straight waistband and I'm hoping that makes sense. Um, it, that that part was not a deal breaker for me because like i said it happens with my other leggings and it's just a matter of like pulling up on the sides to readjust the v no big deal i it doesn't bother me what i noticed though after a couple of times of wearing them and after washing them is that they don't hold up as well as other leggings and i did not see this happen with my bbl leggings or my BBL shorts, but it is happening with these. And so I'm gonna show you 
do you see how it's like unraveling and I hope it's focusing it's like unraveling and it's happening on the sides of the legging let me see I hope it's focusing because I really want you to be able to see this it's like it's such a weird thing like it's happening on both sides right there and I'll put some pictures on the screen too so that in case it's, the camera is not focusing um, you'll be able to see it but it's just this is happening and like I said I sized up so they're essentially a little too big on me and this is still happening so it's not like I size down or they don't fit me and I'm having to stretch the waistband so much like extreme stretch to the point where like it's unraveling the legging because that is not the case I totally sized up and it's still happening for me um, and I know I'm not the only one that this happened to. I know it has happened to a few of the other girls. I don't know if anyone else has mentioned it. I know Gabs might have mentioned it because I know she's one of the ones who it happened to. She's actually the first one that pointed it out. And when she mentioned it to me, like it hadn't happened to my leggings. And then like a couple of days later, it happened to my leggings. I was like, oh my God, I see what you mean now. Um, and then since then, I know that it's happened to at least two or three other people as well. So, I mean, obviously we did, we did let the funny collection know. Um, so yeah, just keep in mind that it's gonna happen. It's not happening all across the legging. Like the front is still in decent condition. The back is still in decent condition. It's literally just like the sides here and i think it's just because of the the way that the waistband kind of goes down at an angle it's happening they, ex they they did explain that they had to add something into the waistband to achieve the v the overlap v and that that happens whenever the leggings are stretched a lot but mine aren't being stretched a lot like i sized up and yeah, I don't feel like I'm stretching them out. I don't feel like I'm having to force them on. Um, so yeah, I didn't want to point that out to you because I don't want you to be surprised if you get these leggings and that happens to you. I want you to be fully aware that it is a possibility that it could happen to you as well. Now, aside from that, I think I like these better than the BBL leggings. Um, even with the waistband fraying that is occurring. Even then, I think I would still pick these over the BBLs. As far as accessories, we get two accessory types this time around. We get the scrunchies, which you all know I love. Like, I love so much that I have six of them. I did buy some at Alpha Land, or actually I bought about this one at Alpha Land when I went to go buy the um, the fashion print bra and then these I asked for it and I'm so glad they sent them to me because these are my favorite thing in the world because when I go to the gym I like having my hair down right but when I go to the gym since it's like a little hot and I like being able to put my hair up in these because they're not too tight and this like since they're covered in Newbury fabric I feel like it doesn't tug on my hair it doesn't damage my hair it doesn't pull on my hair so it's loose enough that it's not gonna damage my hair but tight enough that it's gonna hold my hair up while I'm working out. So I personally love these. I don't wear them the whole time. Literally like when I get to that specific workout where I need my hair up, I'll put my hair up really quick and then I'll take my hair down. So a lot of times you'll see my videos where like I post my workout videos and I have my hair down just because generally I wear my hair down. Um, but if I ever do need to put my hair up, these are the way to go. The only color I'm missing is party purple. And you bet I'm going to buy, or I'm going to try to buy, hopefully, the party purple one. But if not, it's okay because like all these other colors and I was so happy with them. Newbie fabric, super stretchy. They match all of the other stuff. Last but not least is the Game Changer Backpack in Chroma Pink. Now, this color is just so bright. So let me get the scrunchies just so you can see okay so this is chroma pink super bright pink this is malibu pink and then this is 
Miami Vice pink. So here are the three pinks. So you can kind of like compare. I hope it's focusing because my camera is being weird today and last time. So it's not the exact same pink. This is chroma pink, like I said. But this game changer, back game changer backpack is exactly like all the other game changers. So if you've had a game changer before, you know what to expect. If you've never had a game changer before, just know that it has a meal prep or like whatever this is called compartment here, insulated, an insulated compartment at the bottom. Um, I've never actually put meal prep in there, but I have put like snacks in there. Um, and then of course we have two side pockets and each side pocket also has a zipper pocket then you have the laptop pocket okay and i have a 13 inch macbook and my macbook fits perfectly in there and then the inside of the backpack okay you have a mesh pocket here a mesh pocket with the zipper down there and then you have your water bottle holder there. And of course it flattens out. And it's actually quite roomy. Um, I used to use my game changers as my gym bag um, because they fit everything that I needed. But then I bought a game changer duffel and I switched over to my game changer duffel. Just, um, I don't know. I felt like I wanted to like hang it over my shoulder and I still go back and forth. There are days when I don't feel like taking the game changer duffel to the gym and I'll just transfer over like the couple of things that I need from the duffel to one of my backpacks, one of my game changer backpacks and it does the job. So, um, I used to use it for work also when I was still teaching, I would put like my stuff in there, my teacher stuff and it held everything in. I like to use it for travel as well as my personal item. Um, you know, and then I'll just put like my wallet or my purse into the backpack and then this is like my personal item because it fits perfectly under an airplane seat, um, especially if you don't want to take something bigger like the duffel. Um, so yeah, it's great for travel. I wish that there were a couple of changes to it. Um, and if I ever, ever, ever get the opportunity to design my own backpack, um, I would love to make some changes to it. Um, and I'm not gonna say what the changes would be because if I ever do get to do it, like it would be a dream come true. But I would also want y'all to be surprised, you know? So as it is, I think it is a nine out of 10 backpack. Um, I think there are a couple of things that we could do to make it like a, a 12 out of 10 backpack, you know? Um, but yeah, I know a lot of people also use it as a diaper bag. So, I mean, I'm way past the era of having babies. My kid is almost 18 years old, so it doesn't apply to me. But I know that some moms definitely have, and I've heard good things. So this color is just stunning, perfect for summer. Definitely gonna take this to the beach with all my beach stuff. And since it is water resistant, it does keep everything nice and dry inside. All right guys, that is going to be it for today's review video. Remember to go check out the highlight on my Instagram where I've already answered a lot of questions. I have tons of color comparisons, tons of item comparisons. Um, like I've, you know, compared Synergy bras. I compared the uh, reversible bra, the flow shorts, all, not flow, lifestyle. Oh my God, lifesaver shorts. So definitely check out the highlight. And don't forget to use my code at checkout to save and support me. And yeah, I can't wait to see what you all get. And make sure that you tag me so that I can see all of your goodies. And I can't wait to see these colors on everyone. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.